Soap can be made from many different ingredients. Many commercial ones have items that are hard to even pronounce. More natural ones use traditional ingredients with gentle fragrances. PCN found an interesting local soap maker who makes soap right in her home with some interesting helpers. Creamy Nubian goat milk. Mm -hmm. So first you saw me milking the goats, which I do twice a day, every day. Um, I milk them, feed them, put them out. And then I took the, um, the goat milk and we strained it to get any little bits of hay out and um, any little hairs. And um, then the next process is the cooking of the milk and then we freeze it and then a few days later when I'm ready to use it I take it out and then we make the soap which you saw um, the mixing of the oils and all the good ingredients pouring it into the molds and then letting it sit so I'll unmold it in a couple days slice it up and then it cures for about a month and then it's ready to go Look, this is olive oil and canola oil and this is safflower oil I have glycerin and borax and ground oatmeal or oats and then the essential oil. Today we're making patchouli, so I have to melt, melt the vegetable shortening first. Sometimes people have heard about goat milk soap or have used goat milk soap, so they come right over and they want to smell them and I have samples out um, and the way I package it is in a cloth. Um, I sew little cloth bags so that you can smell the soap right through um, the packaging. I used to package it in a, like a cello bag and, and you couldn't get the, at the smell. So I came up with a, a cloth bag um, and you can smell it right through, the, right through the bag. So people will come and smell them and, and if they know about goat milk soap and they've used it before, they usually you know, want to try mine. Um, I have a lot of people that are coming to find me at the market. They've bought in soap before and they want to get some more which is nice. This is my second summer um, at this market. I did last summer and then I was there through the winter. But I sell my soap for um, $4 a bar. So if I sell 20 bars at the market, that's a great day. You know, sometimes I go there and only sell 12, 13, whatever. But, you know, it's nice to, to sell something to somebody, you know, that will either meet me there or has been looking for me or they'll say, oh, I love your soap and it makes my skin feel so good. So that makes it worthwhile. You know, I like, I like sharing the product because I believe it's, it's good and it's, you know, healthy for skin.